KRS. This hour is presented by Callier and Thompson Kitchen and Bath. Visit them today at callierandthompson.com. All right, is an IKEA coming to St. Louis, and what's going on with that development down by SLU? The man has been following this story with the St. Louis Post Dispatch, Tim Bryant. Tim, thanks for joining us here in studio. Good morning. Radio people get up early. Yes, we do, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, this this talk about this development. Where where are we talking about here on on Highway 40? Oh, it's well, it's just north of Highway 40, and it's just south of St. Louis U, and it's right along Forest Park Avenue. And there are two potential developments here. I mean, don't confuse them. That that one is just like the other. One is in the Cortex Science District, and that might be, or that's where people are, people are talking about where there might be an IKEA. The one that we wrote about this week is Midtown Station, which is a block east of the Cortex site, and that's where Pace Properties is trying to find tenants for some big box stores. What's there now? Because there's a whole bunch of sort of nothing there, right? Well, the nothing, if you call a federal mogul dead uh, auto brake parts plant nothing, it's it's been empty for five or six years. Okay. Um, And the Cortex, there's that, where are we talking about there? There's a whole bunch of... Seems like empty buildings or really small buildings and or some, like, uh, train tracks around there, right? Right. And you have to think maybe at that Cortex site, there are some uh, things in the works there because a gas station is closed and uh, used car lot closed. And this is right at Forest Park Avenue in Vandeventer. And that's an area where Laclede Gas owns some property. And, and it said it's not going to relocate its headquarters there, probably isn't. So you wonder that eh, maybe Cortex is finding uh, an Ikea location. So there's two big developments um, that are ripe for development. Yes. So, so what's the rumors? What, what are we hearing? Well, it's more than a rumor for the Pace Properties uh, project called Midtown Station. And, and it really, uh, and it's no surprise that something's being proposed there because if you look at uh, St. Louis from the arch out to the inner belt, there is this spine or backbone of St. Louis that has all these developments lined up from downtown to midtown to Grand Center to the Central West End, Forest Park, whatever, all the way out to Clayton. Sure. Um, and so, but so this is really the only spot where they can develop something. Well, it's a big spot where there's uh, it's certainly developable, and and there's a a, a term uh, called. Uh, Retail leakage that uh, <laughs> I think is pain. I know, gross. <laughs> gross. <laughs> retail leakage. All right. What, all what, really, what is retail leakage? <laughs> all it really means is that that there are available retail dollars in one location, in this case the city of St. Louis, that are being spent elsewhere outside the city. That people go to the Galleria or Brentwood or wherever. So people are leaving the city to go to the county, and so the city would like to keep those people in their city spending their tax dollars. Stop that leak. Um, where, oh, TIF financing, well, how, how do they want to develop this? And is there any oh, talk Oh, you, you suspect that all that stuff would be in play, starting with, uh, you know, maybe tax abatement. And there's already some talk of that the developer says that if there are a lot of environmental challenges at that brake parts plant, that there could be the so-called state brownfields credits that are available to, to remove hazardous material. What, are, what would go in there um, that isn't already here in St. Louis? Uh, you know, that's a good question. And uh, Pace Properties isn't saying they've got a site plan with, you know, showing big buildings uh, right on Forest Park Avenue with some parking behind it. And all they're saying so far is that the next six months or so, they're going to be working very hard to line up some stores to go in there. We're showing some some pictures on the TV side of what is sort of proposed and just sort of mock-ups of where these things would be. Is there enough space for an Ikea, because don't you need, like, football fields worth of space for an Ikea? Yeah, I mean, Ikea, uh, you know, all, often wants, the, they want one-level stores, they want a lot of parking, and uh, and presumably, I mean, it appears that there's enough space on that Cortex site that's at Forest Park and Vandeventer. So how much of that is speculation? How much of that is actually they're really kicking the, the tires? Well, it's a rumor that won't go away, right. and Pace Properties, in addition to this Midtown Station development, is representing Ikea in St. Louis to try to find a store, but but other than saying that, uh, you know, we're looking for a place, that that's all they're saying. Right. Uh, this might be a stupid question. I've never been, well, I, I take that back. I've been in an Ikea store, and they're all throughout Europe. And they're the hippest, coolest store in the world. But what is it about IKEA that is so great that you can't find anywhere else? Uh, you know, it's it's. You think it's like uh, super duper dorm furniture, but I've only been to one store, and I noticed that I couldn't find my way out of it without walking through 
a mile, it seemed like, of exhibits or, or displays, and then you're funneled into the restaurant, and then finally you can find the exit from there. Right. So, They're I mean, geniuses. I, the people who uh, are IKEA fans love it, and there's sort of like this this cult following. But, I mean, high-end dorm furniture is really not a bad way to dis- describe what it is. It's, it's high-end particle board furniture. Well, like. and it's you know it's great-looking stuff if that's you know like that modern design. Right. What else is, is rumored to be going in there? Do we have any idea? Oh, on the Cortex side, I don't know. What all we hear about is 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 IKEA. And a rumor it just won't go away. But uh, I mean, who knows on that Midtown Station site? It's it's a preliminary site plan. But one thing is interesting about it that that's on the Post Dispatch website this morning is that there's talk now of using an old railroad spur on that site, tying that into the whole uh, bikeway network in the region. So you could bike to these places. Uh, well, you could bike where the bikeways go, and then I guess you could get on the city streets wherever you wanted. And then you'd carry your futon on your back back to <laughs> yeah. wherever you want to go. <laughs> and a couch and some lamps and you know, whatever. That's a way to stop uh, retail leakage. <laughs> um, wh- where are we in a timeline? What's 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 the next step for all this? Uh, well, all the thing that Pace is saying so far that's going to spend the next six months um, beating the bushes for uh, tenants, and then you know whatever happens after that. Uh, what is the mayor's office and the city saying? Are they saying anything about? I haven't heard this? from the mayor's office, but you can imagine that they're happy to keep uh, uh, you know stop that leakage. Right. Well, and and sort of keep the idea that that something's coming. In well, and maybe there's a related thing in that you know, of course, Macy's is is pulling out of of downtown, and another rumor that's gone around maybe doesn't have as much uh, credence as the IKEA rumor is that City Target was taking a look at that railway exchange building downtown. And a city Target store, I think, opened just the last few weeks in Portland. And the word in Portland was that the mayor of Portland spent a year personally lobbying um, Target to put a city Target store in uh, downtown Portland, whether that's whether the... Well, that's true or not. Well, I mean, no, it was reported in, in uh, Portland, but whether that's something like that's happening in St. Louis where the city is trying to recruit something like that i don't know i would love to see as a downtown resident uh I, i'd love to see a target or something go in there because you kind of need something like that down there don't you well and, and the, the the city targets on the old uh, uh carson perry scott building on uh in chicago is, is by all counts a sensation right um a place to go for well but then it also the person selling socks and shoes and everything else down there is, is sort of hit by this new development coming down there uh maybe yeah. Tim Bryant with us, St. Louis Post Dispatch. It's in stltoday.com. Uh, Tim, thanks for the great work, and we'll talk to you down the road. You bet. Thanks. It's uh, 827 here at Big 550 KTRS. Jeff Gordon's going to be in front. He's from the Post. He's going to tell us what's going on with the Cardinals and what's wrong there. 827 traffic, weather, news straight ahead. Big 550 KTRS and stltoday.com.